everyone. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files easily from Windows to Linux and from Linux to Windows. And in this introduction, what we're going to do is use the Apache server that is already pre-configured on Kali Linux. And we're going to set up an HTML page, a PHP page, and it's going to be very quick, very fast, okay? Because I, I know uh, how, how this can get. All right, let me tell you something. This is going to be a quick introduction. And it's not going to take much of your time. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create our upload HTML page, okay? And the upload HTML page is going to go in a certain directory. Uh, you can find these commands located in the comment section. Uh, most likely I won't be able to put these in the description because it's just too many characters. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up my terminal here. And all you need to do is just copy and paste the commands. So the first command we're going to copy and paste here is going to create the upload HTML. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in sudo nano, and I just want to make sure I can actually write to this location. So that's why I'm using sudo. And then using var www.html upload.html. And that's where we're going to create the HTML web page that we're going to be serving up. Another thing you don't have to have known HTML or PHP, uh, the code is just copy and paste pretty much. Okay, so once I enter that, it's going to open up um, the nano text editor. If you prefer Vim, go ahead, use Vim. I like to use Nano. It's just super easy. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and copy in the HTML code. And afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and press Control October as an O. And it's gonna ask me if I want to write it to this location. I'm gonna press Enter. And the next I'm gonna press Control X-Ray as an X. And it's gonna go ahead and close that out for me. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create the upload.php. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and come over here, drop in that command, and press enter. And this is going to create the upload.php functionality that we need in order to um, access that web page. All right, so press on that, press enter, and now we just need to input the code. Now it's going to be PHP code that will give us that functionality. All right. And it looks like I'm having some issues with uh, copying it over. It might be my um, most likely you would experience it as well. So if you have any issues copying it over, what I usually like to do is just paste that code into a notepad and then drag it over to my desktop over here. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Or actually, another option is just when you copy it, just copy it in parts, right? So I copy this first part, and then I'll copy the second part. Uh, that sometimes will allow me to get past any uh, issues that I might be having. So I'll go ahead and press Enter, copy in the second part. OK, and then now that we have that all good, we'll go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier, Control-O, control o or actually enter, control x-ray, and that's gonna close it out. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a directory where our uploads will go. We're also gonna to have to ensure that that directory has proper permissions so that we can actually write to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and input this command here. Um, you may have to put sudo, so I'm just gonna put sudo because I don't wanna run into any permission issues. And you're going to have to put sudo in for the next one because that's going to allow us to write to the directory. Now we're almost done. After this, we're just going to restart our Apache server and we'll be good to go. And you may say, well, Danny, isn't there other ways I could transfer this? Yes, you can transfer it via SMB. I have a video on that. Uh, you can transfer it via FTP, although that requires additional configuration. Um, and this is very easy. Like once you get this set up, you're going to be good to go. It's going to be so easy moving forward um, and maybe faster than those other options, to be honest with you. So I'm going to uh, do a sudo after that as well. All right. And so 
with that all set, what we need to do next is uh, just go ahead and do if config. And what we're look, interested in doing is just finding out what our IP address is. Now, this is for the Linux box. I am, you can see I have an interface that connects to that, and I have a Windows box. Um, I use this Windows box in another video where I set up uh, Nessus and did some vulnerability scanning. Um, so if you don't have Windows box set up, or if you're maybe just using a lab, that's fine. Just make sure they're on the same, um, they're interfaced with the same network. So this one's interfaced with that same network, meaning that I should be able to access the Apache server um, from it. Now, it's probably gonna be running on HTTP, not HTTPS, uh, but we'll see if this works. Hopefully it works, I haven't tested this out. All right, so you can see it works and we're given an Apache web page. Now our uploads is going to be um, simply just going uh, forward slash and uploads, okay? Now we can see here, uh, we have our uploads folder. All right, so that's great. Uh, what we want is we want the upload.php. So we'll just go ahead and do a little PHP in there and see if that gives us the functionality. And uh, it says, or actually, I'm sorry, we need the HTML page. HTML. Okay, uh, upload HTML, okay, without the S. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have this HTML page. Now, uh, the PHP is simply providing it the PHP functionality, so now I could go to choose file, click on choose file, and I'm gonna go to choose a location. So if you're trying to maybe move your exploits from Windows to Linux or Linux to Windows. You can do that using this. Um, you know, in, in that case, um, you would go to the uploads folder, and I'll, I'll show you that at the end. Uh, but if we're transfer transfer from Windows to Linux, maybe you uh, did some enumeration, or you have a file that you need transfer because you need to crack something, then this is going to be an easy way of doing it. All right. So in this case, I want to transfer over this. Um, we'll go ahead and check to choose something easy. So this is a obfuscated PS1 script. I, I don't know what it does, but I know that I have it here. So why don't we just try and click open and upload. Okay. And it's saying it's successfully uh, uploaded it. Now from here, our Kali box, we will actually go to the uploads folder and go check it out, right? So we're gonna go check it out, see if, um, if anything's in there. So we'll go CD and oh, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'll go CD uploads, LS, and we see the obfuscated PS1. Um, another easy way of doing it um, is just to open up the folders because let's say I just want to copy and paste it to my desktop so I can get to work. Uh, maybe I've got to force something. Maybe it's uh, the Bloodhound file I need to upload. So it's uh, one of those. Um, it's sharp hound, right, or bloodhound. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do some enumeration uh, for that, but there it is, right there. And then you're like, well, Danny, what if I need to get it from Linux to Windows? Well, that's a good question. It's going to be the same process, really. So I'll go ahead and open up uh, this. I'll go to my main Kelly folder here. I've got this um, random exploit. I don't know what this does, but I know it's an exploit. And I'm just gonna copy that. I'll go up here. I'm just gonna drop that in there. And then now for my Windows box, if I come over here and I go back one. Let's see what happens here. Give it a sec. You can see it's um, asking us if we wanna upload something. We don't wanna upload something. We really just wanna see the uploads folder. So I'm gonna click uploads. Uploads folder here. All right, so this is the obfuscated PS1. So I click on that. All right, 
and then I could uh, copy and paste this if I wanted to. Um, you know, let's go back one. Let's see if it gives me an option to download this. Yep. All right, great. So uh, that's how you're able to to actually do that. But let's go to the close that HTML. And actually, if you have to get something from Kali to Windows, another option is just doing the Python server, right? Because you can run Python on your Windows, on, on your Kali box, but you can't run Python from your Windows box. So that's another just easy transfer method I like to use. So I'll just start up a Python server. Looks like I'm going to an issue. Uh, let's, oh, it's because I have something running it. So run 8080, right? So I have a patch server on 80. All right, and I'll come over here and I'll go ahead and check out that port. <laughs> so go ahead and check that out real quick. 8080. See, I'm connecting. And again, this is the PS1 right there. Click on that. It's downloading it. It's a. Uh, Detected it's malicious, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's an option you guys can use. Another great one I like using is CertUtil. So CertUtil is installed by default, and all you need to do is just um, copy over the command for CertUtil. Might have to jam it in there. It's not wanting to copy it. All right, CertUtil. URL cache dash f http forward slash forward slash the IP one nine two one six eight fifty six dot seven eighty eighty and then the name of the exploit which we're serving up um, which we have here in the uploads directory so I'm gonna go ahead and just should be that right there. Should we use that one? Yeah. Our obfuscated PS1. So let me go ahead and move this over here. We'll just get that exploit. All right. It's going to be 39161.py. And we'll out it as 39161.py. Uh, All right. And then press enter. And then it should reach out and grab that file. And it's saying access denied. So one thing you want to do whenever you do this is make sure that you're doing it from a um, a writable directory. So I'm just going to create a temp directory here. Uh, KDIR temp. I probably already have a temp directory. All right, and then I'll run the same command. Access denied. And I noticed that um, Windows uh, Defender is actually denying that. So uh, we'll just have to go here. And most likely, if you're doing this in a you know, lab, it's Windows Defender is not going to be an issue. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's detect that. So another thing you can do is, in this case, uh, we'll just use a simple empty file test text. We'll just try test.txt, see if that works. It should work. You can out it, whatever you like. You can out it however you like. Just got to make sure. So I could do out it as test dot, or test one dot text, right? The name of it doesn't matter. And it's giving me other access to it. All right, so there's most likely an issue with um, this box has been hardened. So hardened means that I've uh, put in security restrictions to prevent um, malware from being installed on it. As you saw right now, I just got that notification. Um, so yeah, that's probably not going to work, but it should work for you. 
uh, if you have any issues, you can always use wget. Wget is also a good one, but it's but sure util is installed by default. So that command will work for you 100%. Um, it's just for this demonstration, right? It's some issue with this hardened box. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider like and subscribing. Almost at a thousand subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you guys for supporting me. I hope to create more videos, and that just motivated me to create more videos like this week. Um, at, at the minimum, I upload one video a week, and seeing that, it makes me want to upload more. Um, so thank you very much. All right, Danny out.